Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back for another video. And today, I'm coming to you guys from the bustling Munich. I got here yesterday on Sunday, and I made the mistake of thinking, wow, this is really quiet for a city. No, in fact, that's just how Germans move on their Sundays. You guys are really quiet on Sundays. Anyways, right now we are walking to the meeting point for our tour today. We are going to Neuschwanstein Castle, a castle situated just a couple miles north of the Austrian border, situated in the Bavarian Alps. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm really excited, but we are running a bit late. So let's get right over there. Let's do it. Again, guys, this isn't gonna be the end all be all when it comes to Bavaria. It's probably gonna be the first video I post, however, because it's you know the first thing I'm doing in sequence, but I am spending a couple days in Munich, so I think I'm gonna be taking a couple trips out of Munich and also seeing Munich as well because this is really my first time walking around the city and I'm gonna be gone for the day. So I just figured it'd be a good choice. It's a very touristy destination. I mean, everyone's heard of this castle at some point. It's the castle that inspired Walt Disney to uh, make the Sleeping Beauty castle off of. So it's supposed to be really beautiful and that's really annoying. <laughs> so that's why we need to get out of Munich. <laughs> right, guys, I just got spotted in public for the first time. Like, like actually, I'm, I was sitting right here, sunglasses on, and this guy comes up and he's like, more JPS, more JPS. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Then I realized it's a German guy and he knows me from YouTube. And then he, he was like walking really fast to begin with. And I was like, come over here, come over here. He's like, I have no time, I have no time, but I'll see you later. I was like, damn, that's so crazy. That's my first time ever being spotted in public. So that's really cool, right here in downtown Munich. So if you're watching this, shout out to you. Thanks for watching the videos. But I, I was in shock. I was like, I'm not expecting that. So, damn, feels crazy. <laughs> it feels so crazy to be spotted like that. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free Alright guys, seeing as this is my first time in Bavaria, I figured I'd talk about some of the things I heard about the Bavarian people while I was in Berlin and just generally the thoughts towards Bavaria, which were really interesting. So I talked to a couple people in Berlin and everyone came to the general consensus or they all were saying similar things about Bavaria like people are a bit backwards, they hold down progress within Germany. They compared it to like the southern United States. I'm sure you guys are familiar with like the Bible Belt or the people who kind of are have religion ingrained in them. They're they're more fond of tradition and, and, and doing things how things have been done for a long time. And it makes a lot of sense here. I mean we're hearing the story about the king who built this castle 
his family was in power and rule of the entirety of Bavaria for over 800 years. So if that isn't tradition, I'm not sure what is. So, I mean, I'm not like surprised at why things are the way they are. It's just interesting to see that, that exists outside of the United States and it's not a local thing. So constantly balancing those different perspectives of people living in more rural areas and people living in the cities, it's always gonna be that battle. But yeah, that's, that's uh, I think this one person I met, this one German in Berlin, was more specifically speaking on cannabis legislation and, and cannabis becoming more legal and how Bavaria is holding that back because the views are definitely different. I mean, in Berlin, it's not quite legal, but I saw a lot of different posters. I've come across a lot of people different different people smoking it but in Bavaria uh, yeah that would definitely go down differently here so I can see what, what they were talking about not saying one is better than the other or one is good and bad but just interesting to see the differences between the two regions guys currently on the descent I actually ran a bit because my the bottom back of my heels are hurting so much from blisters didn't bring the best shoes for this trip but overall the castle tour was definitely not worth it it was very short like some of the other German service industry I've experienced lackluster uh, they're renovating it so we didn't even get to see most of the castle and thankfully I just bonded with some of the other people on the tour by talking about how bad the tour was so that's basically what ended up happening with that don't regret it though and I ended up getting some footage despite that not being allowed along with many other people on the tour but yeah overall it's been a fun day up here and uh, hope to see some more Bavaria today when in Bavaria you order a liter beer every time you have to right and also for those of you accusing me of being an alcoholic this is my first drink in 72 hours. Definitely have not been counting. That was a result of me being sleep deprived and I didn't really feel like drinking off two hours of sleep. That's kind of nasty. So that was like the past three days, just no sleep. Tonight we got a good night's sleep so we can drink. That's how I view it. But this is really good. Uh, let me tell you all the name of this beer actually. This beer is a Koenig Ludwig draft beer. And uh, it's pretty good. I really like this. Perfect way to cap the day off. After this, we head back to Munich. Probably gonna hit up the hostel bar, meet some people, hang out. And tomorrow I'm gonna be seeing Munich on my own. So that will be tomorrow's video. Super excited for that. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and cheers.